Merry Christmas and welcome back to the St. John Speed Shop, fellow modelers. Made some good progress on the 64 Mercury. And without further ado, let's get into it. Interior is coming out, came out nice. Very nicely detailed dashboard. They were nice enough to give you decals for the speedometer and gauges. Going with a mile custom for this one, so I got a tachometer on top of the dash. I want a different shade of red for the carpet, so I went with a. Uh, the hell did I. I'll get it in a second. Let's like find a jar. It's flat insignia red for the carpet. Not a huge difference, but wanted something. Wanted a. Some kind of contrast in there. But that came out nice. A little bit of clear coat on the seats, give them a leather look. There's our engine, came out nice. That decal for the air cleaner cover really makes it pop. Went with the custom wheels on this one. Bottom of the car, my usual. Gave the bolt heads a little uh, touch of chrome pen, make them stand out a bit. Chrome for the front end and rear end is looking good. Got some custom, got a custom piece for the grill, those you know, bullet grill, whatever they call it. Looks good. And I went with Tamiya light gun metal and metallic black for the body. Had to paint this one twice. Initially I went with you know a darker shade of gun metal along with the light gun metal. Just not enough contrast. The only bright sunlight would have really made it obvious. So I had to tape it up and respray that. That came out cool. I liked it. This is going to look sharp. Get some weird patterns showing up in a hood. Like that, right here. What the hell is that? It's coming through the paint. Don't know what's causing that, but I'm too late to do anything about it now. I ain't stripping no more paint today. Or this month. Or this year. They give you a nice hood ornament and a decal for it. It's looking good. Ought to look really sharp with a clear coat. No problems whatsoever with this kit. Nice easy build. Plenty to work with as far as detailing. I'm going to get to that chrome. Then decals. Then a clear coat. And then final assembly. Last but not least, this neat little trophy. Was included in the kit. Got that painted up. That's pretty cool looking. But so far, no complaints with this kit at all. Nice, nice, easy build. Just the way I like them. I might, I like a challenge, but not the challenge of a garbage kit and poor fit everywhere. That's not cool. This one's nice and easy, and it's going together well. I think it's going to look pretty sweet. With that, you guys have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in a day or two with a finished product. Have a good one, and I am out this biatch.